There's Stephen Colbert strolling through New York City for the photo on our cover this week for The Hollywood Reporter's New York Media Power List. By the first week in February, shortly after Donald Trump's inauguration, Colbert and his relentless coverage of the president had edged out the apolitical Jimmy Fallon by 20,000 viewers. Though Fallon retains a narrow edge among viewers 18 to 49, Colbert's streak now stands at 10 weeks. In the first quarter, Late Show averaged 3.29 million viewers a night, compared with The Tonight Show's 3.02 million, a 17% year-over-year jump for Colbert, and a 17% sag for Fallon. While Trump may have been the catalyst, Colbert tells The Hollywood Reporter, we were ready for something that galvanized people's attention and changed their priorities. Colbert's monologue has become a nightly deconstruction of the existential angst his audience is feeling about Trump's presidency. The comedy bits, too, have become much more topical and biting, and several of them have featured cameos from pal and executive producer Jon Stewart. The first time the show beat out Fallon, Colbert says he bought the staff pizza and continues to do so. Honest to God, it's like, hey, pizza. But remember, maybe next week, no pizza. But it doesn't mean we're not doing great. So, does Colbert think he owes Donald Trump a thank you note? No, he says. I would trade good ratings for a better president. Make sure to check out THR.com to read the full cover story and interview for a lot more, including Colbert's take on his live election night episode, which he calls the hardest effing thing he ever did. He also reveals how they decide when Jon Stewart goes on the show, how New York has changed since Trump was elected, and much more. So what do you guys think about Colbert and The Late Show? Let me know in the comments. For The Hollywood Reporter News, I'm Paul Costabile. See you guys.